What up Sailor Senshi? I'm Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon news and merch reviews. Today, I'm not really sure what to call this unboxing. It's basically an unboxing of a bunch of random shit. Pretty much, that's just what it is. <laughs> These are just a bunch of random things that I've run across on the internet at various different places, but I decided to put them all together because, well, they all go with Sailor Moon. So let's go ahead and start unboxing them. As I unbox these, I will tell you like what the heck is going on with each of them. So this one is a necklace that I've been in search of for quite a long time. I found it, it was pre-owned on eBay. However, the eBay price was cheaper than what I usually find on Mandarake. So this usually goes for $400 and I found it for around $315, I believe is what I ended up paying for it. So I was like, that's a steal. So I went ahead and bought it. So I missed out on this Q-Pot necklace when it first came out. This was from a previous Q-Pot collaboration. However, now uh, this necklace does go for quite a bit of cash. So I wanted to grab it while I saw a good price. I decided to just go for it and I'm so glad I did because it is beautiful. So this is based off of Mamoru's pocket watch that he hands over to uh, Sailor Moon. And on the front of it, we have this really pretty outline of Princess Serenity and Prince Endymion. Uh, we also have some Swarovski crystals, and these are underneath some kind of clear, I don't know, acrylic or something. I have no clue what you call this, this art creation stuff on the top of it. This paint, I don't know. But on the front of it, it's really pretty. It looks kind of droopy, like clear icing that's drooping down the star. And then it's a very, very thick, heavy metal, just like every other Q-Pot uh, product. I really like the background too, because it says the moonlight is the messenger of love. And it just looks really, really well made. And I'm so happy I was able to finally add this to my collection. This sailor also included a note, but it's all in kanji and I can't read kanji, so. Okay, so next we have, oh, this is a whole series of items that I got off eBay. These are all from the same seller, but this seller is known to have really good deals. I don't know where this seller is getting their products, but they always price their items the lowest that I can find. So the first thing in this box is this series of three gachapons of Tuxedo Mask. They're hilarious. I know there's like maybe two or three more that are in this series. So these are just three of them, uh, but they can sit down quite easily on a desk or something like that. This one looks really weird. Like his arm, how do you, his arm is like screwed up. That's so funny. Uh, but they're kind of ridiculous, but I saw them and I was like, oh, I gotta have those. They're just so funny. We have a clear file. This one features the inner senshi and it says Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon Crystal on the back of it. That's all that it says. This I think is a sticker set maybe, or maybe it's just like a little icon set. I'm gonna open it because I'm very curious about this, but I really like the art on it. It's a stallion reeve, obviously. And it's just like a little baggy, basically, of, oh, I don't think these are stickers. Oh, interesting. Yeah, it just looks like confetti, basically. That's so fascinating. So it's basically just a little baggy of 63 pieces that feature uh, Chibi Moon's different icons. So we have her compact, we have some Outer Senshi wands, we have Luna P in here, uh, the Crystal Carillion, however you say that. One of Sailor Chibi Moon's little attack items. Uh, lots of cute little items in here. So I'll have to open that and give you some close-up shots of it, but they can all go inside this little baggie, which is super cute. This item is a vintage card case. Uh, it's not in perfect condition. You can tell that there's like some ink smears and stuff like that. Here's one. That's an example of one of the ink smears inside of there. Uh, but it's a pretty decent little card case. And I like the front of it, how it has this pretty sticker of Sailor Moon on it. It says card album, Pegasus circling in the midnight sky, the new chapter beginning with the Sailor Soldier's history and Sailor Chibi Moon. Be turn into Super Sailor Chibi Moon. Double Super Sailor Soldiers has destiny was for ordained. <laughs> oh man, that's some good writing right there. <laughs> I also opted to get a couple of little charms from Sailor Moon. Uh, so I got the Moonstick and I also got the Garnet Orb, which belongs to Sailor Pluto. I got Sailor Mars's Twinkly Dolly from the first lineup of Twinkly Dollies in the series. This is a series of postcards from Sailor Moon Crystal. 
I believe these were on sale at the Sailor Moon store, but they feature, ooh, it's shiny, pretty. Okay, so we have Sailor Moon on her crescent moon. We have the five inner senshi standing on what looks like the moon. We have Sailor Moon by herself, and then we have Mercury and Jupiter, and then Mars and Venus. And it looks like only the first one is made out of that really metallic, uh, shiny material and then the rest of them are just regular way too much packaging material in this box oh my gosh there we go okay so I'm pretty sure this was the final ones that I needed in my collection of pointer pens so these are all the inner senshi uh, transformation wand pointer pens as well as one of Sailor Moon's wands and that was it for this one I'll show you what these look like out of the box as well so you can get a nice close-up but we have uh, Sailor Moon of course and then we have Sailor Mercury, Sailor Mars, Sailor Venus, and Sailor Jupiter and ta-da! It's very easy to take them out of the box which is wonderful so I am super excited to add these to my display up there. This box is also really really sparkly just like all of the other um, pointer pen boxes too. So I'll definitely keep this box because it's really, really pretty to display. Okay, so the last things in this box from Mr. eBay include this really cute glass of Sailor Moon. It's got Sailor Moon on the front as Usagi and then on the back we have a full version of her, full body version, and then it says Sailor Moon Super S on the side of it. Uh, this is definitely a vintage glass, you can totally tell, and it's so cute. I absolutely love it. I also picked up this box set, which he was selling each one separately, of these little teeny tiny glasses too, uh, which would be great for whiskey. Uh, but this one is Sailor Venus, and it has Sailor Venus, just her face, and then a little chibi version of her on the back. Uh, we have Sailor Mars right here, and then we have... Sailor Jupiter. So cute. These do come in this really nice box set, like so. So I might leave them in the box just to keep them protected. And the front of the box features some vintage, vintage art of the inner senshi. So that was it for the eBay box that I got. I also picked this up from an anime convention that I went to recently, locally. Uh, so this says Sailor Moon S on the front. It says new guardians join the fight. On the back of it, it says Viz celebrates 30 years. I believe this was from uh, like the anime convention down in LA or something. I'm not really sure, but it was a convention that I was not able to go to. So I'm really happy I was able to find this. The art is kind of sticky. So it feels like it's like peeling off of this canvas bag. Uh, which is unfortunate. Not really sure how I should store this given I don't want it to like come off on any of my other products. These are five clear files from the same set and these are the only ones in this set of Sailor Moon as Usagi Skino. We have Amy Mizuno. We have Rei, Hino Rei. We have Kino Makoto and then Eno Minako. And these are really, really tall clear files. I have no clue why they are so tall. It's the weirdest thing, but they're so pretty. I, I don't know what's going on with them. Like if you're supposed to like hang these up as a poster, which I very might do so because they're so pretty, but I have not heard of a binder anywhere where you have clear files that are this long. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so for example, this is the Sailor Moon one. Like why? Oh, it's double-sided. Oh, I understand now. So you fold it in half like this and then it fits in a normal size one, maybe? I don't know. Even that feels kind of long though. But that's what it looks like when you actually peel it apart and show it off as it's supposed to be. So it's beautiful, beautiful prints of each of the different Sailor Senshi. Um, I love that they're all in these gorgeous white dresses. It just looks really pretty, really vintage, even though I believe this is some new art. So all of those clear files came from the same collection. It was like this princess line of collector's items that you could get with Sailor Moon. Uh, they came out for Sailor Moon Crystal, so it's pretty recent. However, I totally miss this this line. So this was something that I wanted to grab whenever I found them for a cheap price and I did find them for a cheap price. So I was like, I'm getting those. These three vintage beauties are Sailor V, which is awesome. This is Sailor V 1, 2, and 3. 
um, the original 1990s era comics. So these are the Japanese manga that you were able to get back in the day. I picked these up from Sailor Samara, who also has a YouTube channel. She was selling these over on Instagram. So I decided to go ahead and grab them because I don't have any of the original versions of the manga. So these are the first three that I decided to add to my collection for that version. Um, eventually I will also get the Sailor Moon ones too, and then I will have every single line of the manga. These are some advertisements that I picked up from Ochiba Wolf. Uh, she says, hello, thank you so much. I hope you love these flyers. If you know anyone who may want a set, send them my way. I have so many. Love, Ochi. So cute. And these are a couple of flyers that you could only find in Japan during some, like during some events. I like the flyers. I think they're really artistic. And she packaged them wonderfully. So thank you, Ochi Wolf. Uh, this is the first one and it's in beautiful condition. So this one says Sailor Moon Crystal. That looks like it says, I don't know what that says. <laughs> I'm trying to read all this information down there and I have no clue what it says. Uh, however, let's see. Oh, maybe it's a cafe thing. Okay, so on the back of it, we have Sailor Moon Cafe information. So that's so cute. I can see all the things that they actually had available. Oh, I wish I was able to go to that cafe. And then we have Sailor Moon Crystal Onion Station uh, collaboration. So there were a bunch of goods that were sold at this uh, Onion collaboration thing that happened. So there was a good store and Collabo full Foods. So you were able to get all sorts of cute little goodies if you were in Tokyo at that time. Okay, and then I picked up a couple of books. So these are basically novellas about Sailor Moon. Uh, this is like the novelized version of the manga. So we have, uh, this is number three, no, number two and number three. The cool thing about these is number three came with a sparkly postcard with the same art. So that was definitely something I wanted to make sure I got. So I got one of these sparkly postcards sit nice and safe inside of there and then I'll be able to add these novels to my collection. If you're wondering where I got these, I got them from Rare Candy, which is rare-candy.com. So these are super cute and I'm so happy I was able to get them. These are local goods. So I was actually not really sure if I would be able to get any of these, but these are like eye drops for your eyeballs. Uh, they come in a variety of different colors and sizes as far as the cases that they come in. Uh, I was worried that I would never be able to get these because no nobody was shipping them overseas uh, because of, I guess, the content of the eye drops on the inside of them. Uh, however, I found them locally at a local Japanese makeup store in Japantown in San Francisco. So I went in there. I think each one was 15 bucks, so definitely overpriced, but... I'm really happy I didn't have to pay for shipping. So in that way, it kind of worked itself out. So I got all four of these. And lastly, now I am pretty sure I got these from Sailor Moon Garage Sale on Instagram. I'll double check and let you know in the show notes down below. But this was kind of ironic and random and very lucky. But you know how I showed you those three matching cups in that little set? Well, turns out Sailor Moon Garage Sale had the other two. So I got Sailor Mercury right here and I got Sailor Moon right here. So now I have the complete set of these super adorable vintage cups. So if I put them all in their cute little display box together to store them. Now we have the complete set, isn't that awesome? And how rare is that? So very, very lucky and totally random little find. I love little finds like this where I'm just like, oh, cool, I didn't know those existed. I could totally use those for whiskey. I think they would be great for that. <laughs> All right, everybody, well, it's a Saturday night, so I'm gonna go watch a movie with my husband, and I hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to comment below if you have any questions about anything, or if you wanna see further details about any of these products, don't forget to check me out on Instagram and Patreon. Again, my name is Sailor Snubs. I will be back real soon with another episode for you. Jenny.